What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back Terror Squad with another video here. Um, today we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing a couple of tributes um, that um, by my guy Zurich. One time he gave me a shout out um, in the comment section man. Um, I love this dude's videos. Um, he does a really good job of really putting together clips um, for these tributes, um, he doesn't do theories, or does he? I don't remember if he did any theories, or he did, but I do know he does tributes, um, and I love his tributes, because the music that he uses brings everything, to, um, bring everything together, right? So, today we have, um, we'll do one for Jorah, and also, I think the other one is for... I don't know if it's Arya. No, no, it's not Arya. Um, Theon. Theon. I'm gonna talk about Arya, right? For Theon. So, um, so we're gonna go through those. And the state of Game of Thrones right now is not is not looking too good. It is not looking too good. It's just, just my two cents before we jump into this tribute video. Spend a couple of minutes talking about this because I did not get a chance to do my official review that I wanted to do for episode four of season eight. Um, it's, it's crazy to think that the things that they have done, it's just some of the stuff that they're doing just doesn't really, it doesn't really add up. Um, you know, you kind of understand why so many people is upset and very underwhelmed by this season. You know, for me, I'm just enjoying it for what it is, but at the same time, I cannot give these episodes... 10 out of 10 because there's so much there's there's so many stuff that I think they could have done and done it way better to wrap up the storylines you know some people are coming out with theories and stuff like that dude there's two episodes left two 80 minutes episode basically two movies left for us to watch in this universe and we're here sitting down sitting on our hands because we don't know what's gonna happen I think the death of Rhaegal, the, the, the death of Rhaegal was just, it was shocking, and I think that's all they did it for. It was just for, for if, if, if the option is to make it seem like Daenerys is going down the wrong path in, in, in this thing, right? Because that seems like that's the direction they're going to make her the Mad Queen. You know, burn them all. Burn them all, right? So they're trying to make it seem like she's making the right decision because Cersei doesn't care about her people. But at the same time, the vision of King's Landing being destroyed, if that does not happen... Then the story is why did they even show that vision? What what I don't even remember what what um season that was again. That vision she had where she was walking through the red keep and past the iron throne. She walked to the iron throne like she tried to reach out to it, couldn't reach it. But there was snow falling in the red keep. Where's all that? It seems like it's still summer down in King's Landing. So <laughs> I don't know anymore. Maybe it was just a metaphor. I have no idea because it doesn't seem like, because all the videos that I've watched of people theorizing about that vision, none of it is coming true. None of it. None of it. They're not even mentioning that stuff. None of it. It's just like, uh, you know, at this point, I don't want to rant too much about this because, um, I'm just going to see how they end it, then I'll have something to say. Because, you know, you have some people with theories out there now saying that Drogon had, had eggs. That he went to, um, remember when Tyrion and, and Jorah, when, when Jorah was bringing Tyrion to Daenerys, right? And they were in the boat, I think they were in, um, they were passing through, was it Valeria? The place with the with the stone man, the, the guys with the the gray where they go with the gray scale, gray scale to live, right? I just I, I I don't understand. They're saying that when Drogon p 
passed over when they were riding in the boat and stuff. That's where he went to lay egg or she, whatever, because dragons don't really have genders. So I I don't understand. I, I'm trying to figure out what 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 this is about. Like why why that fear would 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 come through now? I don't know. They're saying that Euron, when Euron was on the boat, when they shot Rhaegal out of the air and Daenerys went, like, veered off, like, he saw something. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to confuse myself too much about this because, you know, I have other things I have to think about. <laughs> I'm just being honest here. I, I really do hope that they for the next two episodes that they do better. But I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm hoping for. I just want them to do better. Like right now, the writing sucks. I'm just going to be honest. Like it's not high tier. You know what I'm saying? The writing is good here and there. It's just like one out of every 10 conversations is good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of one liners, you know, it's when you're watching the show, your adrenaline is so high that these one liners, they will make you laugh. Some things are paying off that I like, like the whole Jamie Brienne situation. Like I like that. I didn't like that. He's going back. I don't know what he's going back to do. Is he, some people are saying he's going back to kill Cersei. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's jump into this, man. Let, let's get some joy. Let's let, let's laugh a little bit, man. I have a ton of videos to do today. So let's get on with it. Okay, so um, here we have Jorah. Let's go check it out. Put my headphone on this. To serve you. Why Daenerys? Why is she worth all this? A uh, small gift for the new Khaleesi. You believe in anything? Thank you, sir. The gods. Destiny. Are you from my country? You believe there's a plan for this world? No. Neither did I. It was a cynic, just like you. Sir Jorah Mormont of Bear Island. Then I saw a girl step into a great fire with three stone eggs. You saw me step into the fire. You watched the witch burn. What did the flames do to me? Do you remember? When the fire burned out, I thought I'd find her blackened bones. Instead, I saw her. Daenerys, alive and unhurt. Until my last breath, I will remember. You watch over her, Sir Jorah. We need to drink, child. Gently, gently. Careful, Khaleesi. King Robert still wants me dead. This poison was the first, he won't be the last. The warlocks. I thought he'd leave me alone. Now that my brother is gone. He is no dragon. He will never leave you alone. You're a Targaryen. Growing fast. Fire cannot kill a dragon. He will not have my son. He will not have you either, Kelly's. This one's a Westerosi knight. It was just as you said. Tell them all to stop. Jorah, make them stop. From an ancient house trained in sword and lance. The slave soldiers threw down their spears and surrendered. He fought beside the Stag King Robert on the far side of the narrow sea. You're not Lord Commander here. You're just another exile. And I take my orders from the Queen. She truly is a queen today. Not a queen. Khaleesi. 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 Blood of my blood. What would you have me do as my advisor? We don't need Yunkai, Khaleesi. Taking this city will not bring you any closer to Westeros or the Iron Throne. The allies we need are in Westeros. Oh God, Khaleesi, please be careful. How can I rule seven kingdoms? Please leave. I me. can't control Slaver's Bane. Not you, George. Why should anyone trust me? Why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. You must be their strength. Dracarys. As you are mine. You are looking at one of the great warriors in the Seven Kingdoms. Sir, so, Jorah Mormont. Jorah. Jorah Mormont. Jorah Mormont of Bear Island. He is a veteran of a hundred battles. They wrote songs about him. I'm going to make a man um, slow. Slow. It's true. It also keeps a man alive. Let me fight for her. Take me to Slaver's Bay, and I belong to you. Put a sword in my hand. I'll prove my worth. No one can survive in this world without help. No one. I've been by your side longer than any of them, Khaleesi. Let me help you. Let me stand for you today as well. There's a beast in every man, and it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. Oh, Khaleesi, my queen. 
About to serve you, obey you. To die for you if need be. I can't remember ever seeing a sane man as devoted to anything as he is to serving you. He claims he would kill for you and die for you, and nothing I have witnessed gives me reason to doubt him. And yet he did betray you. What's this? A royal pardon, signed by Robert Baratheon. A royal pardon? You can go home now. You spied on her. Why did the usurper pardon you? He passed notes to Varys's little birds. I sent letters to Varys. She found out, didn't she? Found out and exiled you. You don't approve? It's not a question of approval, it's a question of trust. I shouldn't have left you alone with these people. They are not to be trusted. And who is to be trusted? You have a very suspicious mind. In my experience, only dishonest people think this and way. And it's you I should trust, Sir Jorah. Only you. That wine merchant tried to poison me because of your information. I stopped you from drinking his wine. Because you knew it was poison. Come. Um, I suspect it. You betrayed me from the first. <laughs> Forgive me. Another man. Galicia, please. Please, Galicia. Forgive me. You sold my secrets to the man who killed my father I and stole my you. brother's throat. Fought you want you. me Kill to for forgive you. you. I have loved you. For a moment, as brutish as his life is, I suppose it is preferable to beheading. He brought dishonor to our house. He broke the law, betrayed his family, fled our land. It's grace to leave the sword before he fled from Westeros. Miserable as you are, Mormont, at least your father was a good man. Oh, he still is. You didn't know. Man of great honor, and I betrayed him. If we are truly her loyal servants, we'll do whatever needs to be done, no matter the cost. No matter our pride. Will you betray her again, Jorah the Under? Varys, please. Don't ever presume to touch me again or speak my name. Will you betray her again? Never. I banished you. Twice. You're a free man. You could have gone anywhere. Keep coming back. Why? You came back. You came back. Twice. Why did you come back? You know why. And you saved my life. I've surrendered to this sickness the moment I first saw Do not walk away from your queen, Jorah the Andal. I knew it would kill me. You have not been dismissed. I'd kill myself before I could. Daenerys Stormborn convinced me otherwise. You pledged yourself to me. The place for me is back with her. You swore to obey my commands for the rest of your life. I owe my life. Well, I command you to find the cure. Her. Wherever it is in this world. Ah! I command you to heal yourself. And you. And then return to me. Your father saved me more than once. It's the least I could do. Tali, I forbid you to die. You're not dying today, Sir John. Thank you for saving me. I served with your father. It's yours. He was a great man. He'd serve you well. And your children after you. Jory the Andal. She is the mother of dragons. Who is Yilia Zephinari of Ashafka? She needs true protectors now more than ever. Droy, go on and me. Ashafka. I'd be honored if you take it. Take it with you, but bring it back. Our queen needs you. I wish you good fortune, cousin. Thank you, my lady. What do you pray for, Sir Jorah? Home. Alicia. How long has your manservant been in love with you? He's not my manservant, and he's not in love with me. He's my advisor. My friend, Miyokeo Anisikoshi. Unlikely. I can almost always tell what a man wants. You don't think I see you looking at my little sister? Don't think I know what you want. I only want... What do you want? You want to please the mother of dragons. Tell me. To see you on the Iron Throne. Why? You have a good claim, a title, a birthright. But you have something more than that. They cover it up and deny it. But you have a gentle heart. You would not only be respected and feared, you would be loved. You love her. Someone who can and should rule centuries come and go without a person like that coming into the world. There are times when I look at you and I still can't believe you're real. You're a romantic. I admire that. You're my most trusted advisor, my most valued general, and my dearest friend. I will not gamble with your life. Sometimes I look at you and I think, so that's what I'll be like when I grow old. He worships you. We should be better at saying farewell by now. He is in love with you, I think. Your grace, I... Tyrion Lannister was right. I love you. I'll always love you.
Javrati Lay. Mind your tongue. As in Khalesi, Chef. Our queen would be dead if not for him. I won't watch you burn. My place is by your side. I need you by my side. I return to your service, my queen. With the queen's permission, I'll go north and take one. If you'll have me, you ask me to find a cure so I can serve you. It would be my honor. Allow me to serve you. Does loyalty mean nothing to you? You know I would die for you. It means everything to me. I will never abandon you. And yet here you stand. I'm sworn to protect you, to serve. And yet here I stand. Just once in my life, if war is over, I want to know what it's like to serve with pride. To fight for someone I believe in. Do you believe in her? With all my heart. We're here to say goodbye to our brothers and sisters, to our friends who set aside their differences to fight together and die together so that others might live. I didn't know Sajura well, but I know this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't be. If he could have chosen a way to die, it would have been protecting you. All I've ever wanted was to serve you. Wow. Ah. One of the things that um, Zurich does so well, man, is to remind you of the character's arc. He does that so well. And I have to say, man, great, great video. Great, great video, man. Um, I want to almost, almost brought tears. It almost brought tears to my eyes, man. I, I was there trying to hold it up. I was like, you cried too damn much. Hold it in. <laughs> you know what I mean? So there you go again, man. Jorah's arc is one one of my favorite arcs in the story um, for sure. Um, it was a character that I hated at some point, loved at some point. It, it, was, it was a journey. You know, it was a journey, and that's the, the great thing about this show, and that's why um, so much in my feelings about how it's ending, you know what I'm saying, about, you know, I've always given them the benefit of the doubt when I was reacting to it, and, and you know what I'm saying, I've always given them the benefit of the doubt, and, and, and I say that, you know, I think they're going to do a good job of wrapping up this story, and that's what you just have to take it for. I just, it's just that, it's gotten so convoluted in, 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 in a way where it's just out. It, a lot of things are just out of pocket, out of character. Out, it, it's just weird. So I'm glad that Zurich is doing stuff like this for the, char the characters that we've lost. Um, I don't know if he did one for Beric. I would love to see him do one for Beric. Um, Beric wasn't, he was a side character. I mean, it wouldn't be a long video, of course, but it would be nice f to know when the first time we got introduced to him, all the times that he'd been brought back and all of this other stuff, you know, he served his purpose. Um, and I'm guessing that, you know, his purpose was all in all, he came back all those times just to save Arya so Arya could kill the Night King. So that was his purpose. So, would love to see one about that, but, you know, Jura, I knew he was, even though we looked at it like, he fell in love with her when she was too young, and that's the thing, like, that's what I didn't like about his character at first, right, at first his, his, his character was basically in love with a child, so it was like, it was nasty, it was, uh, but as Daenerys has become more mature and become a woman, you know, the the um the love kind of seems you know more more genuine and pure but before it was just like when she when he just met her and stuff like that just the way he was looking at her and stuff like that, I was like dude that's a ch she's a child bro and you're like you know what I'm saying so it was like it was just it was too weird at first but then you know we've come to kind of understood you know, is is betrayal coming back to her over and over and over again, you know, and to die right by her side, man, that was nothing but poetic, you know, um, come full circle to get exactly what he wanted, which is to die protecting her, 
So I'm glad that they gave him that in the in in the story in um in the current season. So, you know, at least that was going on. So we're gonna check out Fion um tribute video next and make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm gonna upload that separately. Hope you guys loved my reaction of this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video for yourself. Um, I didn't talk at all during that video because it was it was really opening up, you know, it's just that these videos, these tribute videos, they play on your love for Game of Thrones and that's why you, you might get choked up about it because it reminds you of how good the show really is, even though they're kind of botching it at the end, but... You know, it just kind of reminds you of what this show means for you all, over all these years that you've been watching it. So, but for me, it's just really just like six months. So, <laughs> so it's like, you, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, what is it? Eight months? I think I started watching it in September, I think, of last year. Um, so it was crazy, man. The emotions were there, of course. But thank you guys for watching, as always. Hope you guys check this out. And like it just like I have. I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>